And um, though they, they, they do very, get very little credit. Actually, the, the regiment itself, that's one of my other driving forces, it, it gets very little credit. Um, you know, I, I, I remember going through the, the stacks of UMB to do um, papers, and I rarely did anything on the North Shore because it was too much of a risk in my undergrad um, because they were very minimal footnotes on mm. the regiment in historical um, uh, sources. And it just didn't have enough substance to to give you uh, the security that you might get a good mark, it just like it was gonna it was gonna take a lot for an undergrad student to pull it off. So, um, and that left me frustrated. And I'm really glad that there's been a body of work that has been developed. There's been a a, um, a I almost want to call it a renaissance in a way, a a a, a, um, a re understanding of what what has occurred, and um, and they're getting finally the the recognition they should. I mean, you're. Many regiments uh, that landed on Juno, um, Queen's Own, Regina Rifles, uh, they, they've gotten all kinds of accolades, and um, the North Shore just kind of quietly existed. So it, it's uh, it's good to see. It's good to see. So that was all kind of part of that networking thing, and and uh, we still work with a lot of these people today. And um, I, I think it's great for our community that. We, we revive and we, we keep those connections because I think we were at a point and I, I know it sounds weird because I'm like patting myself on the back, but I think we were really at a point where had that work not gotten done, those, those bridges might've been, been gone. I, I think. 